Welcome to Focus GPS. This is an instructional video of how to use this app. Start by going to the main menu. On the main menu, you can see the second line down is Create a New Thought Line, and that's the one we're going to work with. Click on it. This opens up another screen, uh, which shows two lines. The first one is for header words, organizational words, and the bottom line is for your thought. So let's using the dictaphone, uh, let's dictate a typical header. I push listening. soccer. Done listening. I then go down to the thought line below, click on record. Listening. Practices are Mondays and Wednesdays. I then go down to the priority, this is my third and final entry here, and I want to make that a if there's time entry. It's not my most important category, so I'm going to click on two, and then I'm going to touch save, which saves it to its file, and also clears the screen for further entries. Now, let us go to view entries, which is the next screen where files are saved. And let's call up a file there called Demo Student. Hold on. In Demo Student, you can see there's a number of entries that have been made with priorities on the left, header words in the middle, and those double header words are helpful if you like them. And we can take a look at the priority column by tapping at the top and get all the ones together. I see my most important things immediately and my second things and so on. Under header words I tap on that and that organizes the headers so that things that belong together show up together such as school topics, sports topics and so on. Now having done that to organize my day I use what's up as you see down the bottom. I click on that and go to the file and bring in MOD student. And there you see the files have now been presented with all the ones, twos together, and threes together, etc. Now, by clicking in the choice boxes on the left, I can pick the most urgent ones right away. And I can even get one from the twos that I know has to be done this afternoon by coincidence and then I click on what's up at the top there. This puts the three things that I now see must be done today at the top. I can use the slider to rearrange them to get them in exactly the order I want. And there, now it's perfect. I have to meet Jim after, that's number one today. Now if I want to share that with people, I have a share button there and I go to email and I have mentors, it would normally be people that support me if I'm working on something that requires support. And this is a list of typical mentors. Let's come out of there. And also I can click on these items on the left by indicating which ones are done to create a what's done report. And then I touch what's done up the top like that. And the things which are done show up immediately in green and I can send these reports out by email to my various support mentors so that they can see what I'm doing. This permits me to have group support in an important area. Okay, let's last, let's end by going back to file management. And here you see a very simple thing. On the left hand column we have uh, re uh, folders. And you can just enter the folder name and when you click on it, it shows which files are in it and the one that's lit is of course the one that has the printing over to the right and if I want to I can edit that by simply lighting it up clicking edit like so and what have you. So I'm going to save that and that's basically how it works. Thank you very much.